hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just listening to my friend's heartbeat here and going over today's science file. What is a stethoscope? You definitely want to give this a try. You will need a funnel, plastic tubing, and an adult to use the razor knife. Using a paper tube to listen to someone else's heartbeat is pretty easy. Uh, not so easy when you try to listen to your own. Want to build a device to help you listen to your own heart? Well, first you need to get yourself a funnel. <laughs> Oh yeah, and you're also going to need some plastic tubing! Tubular! You can start by fitting the funnel into the plastic tube. Have an adult cut a length of one meter tube. Now, to make sure that you have the right size tube, bring your funnel with you to the hardware store. This way you can make sure that your funnel fits snugly with the plastic tube. Now, we got to get our heart beating! Woo! <laughs> Place the funnel on top of your heart and place the other end next to your ear. <laughs> Whoa, I can hear my heartbeat. That is so cool. Now what's going on here? Well, take a closer look at this. A stethoscope is an instrument used to detect and study sounds coming from within organs such as the human heart. Although real stethoscopes use a bell and a diaphragm, this stethoscope works by using a funnel to help concentrate sound waves, which amplifies them or makes them louder, then focuses the sound waves so they can be sent down the tube into your ear. The first stethoscope invented was by French physicist René Linac around the year 1819, and it was a 25 centimeter hollow tube made of wood. So now you know how to make your own stethoscope at home. You know, being able to listen to your heartbeat is why science is so cool. Ah! <laughs>